So this is a rarity on the channel. We're looking at a new flavour from the Rochford Project and the Rochford Project release two, at most, two new flavours a year. They're not like other juice companies that go flavour, 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 all in the space of a month. Two new juices a year. That's the most that you'll see from the Rochford Project. So it's time for a juice review. So, usual setup. Well, it's not the usual mod I've got. I was going to say the Asmodus Minikin 2. It's not the Minikin 2, Vic. It's not. It's the Dovepo Reva 200. It just looks like an Asmodus Minikin 2. Um, Dovepo Reva 200 with an Asgard Mini sitting on top. The Asgard Mini has got a couple of uh, dual core, it's not triple, dual core fuse Claptons from uh, proper coils and it's wicked up with cotton gods. Cotton. So, this has been nicked up. Uh, this has the midnight oil. This has been nicked up to three milligram nicotine. I'm going to drop a little bit of liquid straight onto the cotton here. Run the bottle over the coils. Quick fire. More juice on the coil. Another quick fire. That'll do it. So there's a bit of a backstory to this. And it's on this cover letter. I'm going to read out just a little bit of the backstory that you've popped in in the cover letter. Since coffee flavours are either hit or miss, I had decided to concentrate on other flavours that were deemed more popular first because the Midnight Oil, um, the Midnight Oil was planned during 2017, but he brought out raspberry milk instead and the Midnight Oil got put on hold on the back burner. The Midnight Oil has a very subtle espresso flavour as previous versions were predominantly stronger on the coffee side and I found would overtake everything else in the flavour profile. And with real creamy vanilla lattes, I find that it's not all about how strong the coffee is, but getting a decent mix of the vanilla cream milk in with it too, so it's not an in-your-face coffee for this reason. Most vanilla lattes have a sweetness to them, that's true, so decided to add a hint of caramel to add sweetness to the mix, and we hope that my customers will like it. Originally, I had a twist of orange mixed in, which, uh, uh, which was really nice, uh, believe it or not, but took it out as really not sure if others would think the same. Nah, I wouldn't have liked the orange in there, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a purist when it comes to lattes. Just, just the coffee with cream, thanks. Hold the orange. Anyway... Asgard Mini, all juiced up and ready to go. And I'm running the Asgard Mini at 70 watts, and they're off. This is the same reaction I had when I first tried this up at the house. Damn. Just damn. That's all I'm going to say about that. So here's what you're getting. You are not getting the burnt toast flavour that a lot of coffee vapes seem to have in the UK. And it is true, a lot of the coffee vapes that are out there, they don't taste like coffee, they taste like burnt toast for some strange apparent reason. There's only one other company out there, and I think it was Exceptional Vapes back in 2018, that came out with a cappuccino-based coffee vape flavour. And they managed to rig it so you did not get the burnt toast taste that you got in a lot of other coffees that are currently out on the market for vaping. What you're getting with this is basically a sweetened cream, and it is rather sweet, it is a bit on the sweet side. You're getting a sweetened cream right at the front, because hey, it's a latte. Of course you're getting a lot of cream at the front. I kinda, it's not a heavy cream flavor though. It's more of a lighter cream, kind of. it's not a milky flavor either. It's a cream flavor, right? So you're getting a cream flavor at the front, sweetened cream, you're getting, there's a fight going on between the caramel and the coffee. That's what I'm getting in the aftertaste right now. I'm getting more car I'm getting more caramel than coffee in the aftertaste, but on the actual vape, it's a fight for second place. Now to me, I'm getting the caramel slightly ahead of the coffee, right? So to me, Actually, I'm not getting the caramel in front. It's hard to separate caramel and coffee. But to me, at least, I'm starting to second guess myself here. But to me, cream at the front, sweet cream at the front, 
I'm going to say caramel behind that, and then directly behind the caramel, you're getting what is essentially an espresso coffee. It's not a burnt toast coffee. It's an actual coffee flavour. You can tell it's coffee because it tastes like it and doesn't taste like burnt toast. However, here's the interesting part about this. See, after you've vaped it five or six times and your tongue and taste buds start to get used to that coffee flavour mixed in with the caramel, a fourth flavour pops up and it's very, very subtle. It's either something to do with the reaction between the coffee and the caramel flavouring or he's actually added it into the mix. Chocolate, and it's a very, very, very subtle chocolate taste. It's a milk chocolate, it's not a dark chocolate, but it's a very subtle chocolate taste that's behind, by quite a bit actually, it's behind the coffee and the caramel. What you're basically looking at, you wouldn't class this as a vanilla latte mocha. And it can't be a mocha by itself because the chocolate's not strong enough. So what you're basically looking at is more than likely you go to your local coffee shop, whether it be a local cafe or whether it be Cost Costco? No, no, that's a supermarket over in the US. What's that coffee place called again? It's not Costco. Costa, that's it. So your local barista, your local little independent cafe, or Costa Coffee, or maybe, but I doubt they'll do it, Greg's, because Greg's usually have decent coffee machines. And you ask them for a vanilla latte with a, yeah, caramel, not just vanilla, caramel vanilla latte, and if they have it, ask them to dust the top of the latte with some cocoa powder. That's what this is. It's a, it's a caramel vanilla latte that's been dusted with cocoa powder. That's, that's the best way I can describe it because that's practically what this actually tastes like. Oh, it's so good. Now again, now again, you have to be a coffee fan in order to actually enjoy vaping this. If you're a tea jenny like myself and you don't drink coffee at all, you're probably not going to like this. But if you like a cup of coffee in the morning or you like a nice latte with your lunch during the afternoon, you might want to get your hands on this. I'm just going to say it right now. You might want to get your hands on this. Best coffee flavour there is out there. And I've tried a lot of coffee flavours, especially at the back end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, when all of a sudden I started fancying coffee vapes in the morning. And a lot of them do tend to taste like burnt toast. I don't know what they're doing with the flavour mixing, um, with the flavour mixing. In fact, even the one from Decadent Vapour back in 2017, they came out with a breakfast coffee, I think it was, and it literally tasted like you were vaping burnt toast. And it was a very, very strong in-your-face burnt toast. With this, it's coffee. It's a very light coffee, though, because, again, it's a latte. You've got the cream, the sweet cream, right at the front, smothering everything over. But you can taste the espresso shot in there. You can definitely taste the espresso shot with a slight twist of caramel. And after five or six vapes, very, very subtle hint of a kind of chocolatey taste. Very subtle hint of a chocolatey taste in the background, but um, I'm, I'm loving this. Put it this way, that bottle arrived at the house and I vaped half the bottle up at the house in the space of about an hour and a half. Just chain vape, chain vape, chain vape, chain vape. And I had to stop myself there because I thought, you know, if you keep doing this, but you're going to fuck all left to review. So yeah, once this recording's finished, What's left of that bottle is not going to last long. Put it that way, it's not going to last long. Anyway. See, I don't know how he does this, because here's the thing, right? You look at the rest of the Rochford Project line, it's all basically fruits. Predominantly lemon. Lemon meringue, uh, lemon meringue. Uh, there's the curd one. And then there's the lemon lush. That's three lemon fruit flavors by itself. And then he's got the black vine, which I'm a big fan of. Then he's got yeah. Then he's got um, what's the other one sitting here? Um, crimson seed. That's another fruit one. It's mostly fruits in 
the Rochford project lineup. You can't get any further away from a fruit flavour than a coffee. Now, granted, he has been working on this since the back half of 2017, but let's, let's look at what he said in the letter. He shelved the project in favour of raspberry milk, and then other flavours popped up, like the black vine, and he went back to the midnight oil and probably redone the recipe from the ground up. This tastes like a vanilla caramel latte with a little bit of cocoa powder dusting on top of the latte. That's essentially what this tastes like. Now, I will say it is a bit on the sweet side, and he did mention that in the cover letter. There is a fair bit of sweetener in here that's mixed in with the cream to give that latte cream sweetness effect. So it, is it a coil killer? I wouldn't go that far because I have been dripping this up at the house and I ploughed through about 25 well, 20 to 25 mil, and the coils were in relatively good nick. Just a slight bit of caramelisation right in the centre. I wouldn't call it a coil killer, but don't be surprised if, you, if you're going to be using this with a stock coil sub ohm tank. Don't be surprised if you go through more coils than normal, put it that way. Anyway. Oh, I don't, I don't know how he does it. I honestly don't know how he does it. That was... The Midnight Oil. A big thanks to the folks over at Rochford Project for sending it over for a review. If you thought this review sucked and what to do below, thought it was good, give it a thumbs up. Very far side at the top, you've got the latest video, no matter what video you're watching in the channel. Honey, that's latest What's Up Sunday update vlog in the middle. Shout out to the hashtag flu family, the Patreon subscribers, and the YouTube members for keeping Vape McVick afloat financially. That's what's paying for this studio. And underneath me is the Vape Mac logo. Click on that to subscribe. As always, folks, thanks for watching and have a good one.